Shiba Inu is really hot right now, and I'm talking about the good kind of hot. Whales are accumulating the token in large volumes, and something just happened that might seem like a bad thing, but really isn't. I know that it sounds like I'm speaking in parables, but if you keep watching this video, you'll understand everything. So, sit tight. Disclaimer. Welcome back to the channel, Sheep Army. Thanks for joining in for another video. You're more than welcome here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you want to continue getting regular updates on the Shiba Inu ecosystem and the general crypto market. Now, let's get into the video. To start with, it looks like Ethereum whales have been on a SHIB buying spree, especially in the last 24 hours. SHIB is currently ranked number 4 on the top 10 list of purchased tokens among the 500 biggest Ethereum whales when it wasn't even in the top 10 a couple of days ago. And according to CoinCora, the average value of SHIB that every whale holds is around $462,898,625,067, which is around $5,104,584 at current prices. Probably even better, and due to the buying spree, the price of SHIB rose slightly in the last 24 hours. We're looking at a price increase of 0.53%, which is quite small if we're being honest. However, considering the current crypto market, a 0.53% price increase is more than welcome. It shows, more than anything, that all the efforts that have been put into the Shiba Inu project have started paying off. Now, about the somewhat confusing development. TradingView records that Shiba Inu's market cap is down by a whopping 5.5%. This puts Shiba's market cap at $6.01 billion, making it the 16th biggest cryptocurrency by market cap. Now, of course, hearing that Shiba Inu's market cap has dropped significantly can be quite upsetting, but analysts are saying that it isn't really all bad. First off, while market cap is a significant marker for growth, it's not all there is. Use case is also really significant, probably even more, and Shiba Inu has got that in the bag. Across a variety of industries and countries, Shiba can now be used as a payment method. Whether you want to buy food, a luxury wristwatch, pay your travel expenses, or rent a supercar, you can do that using your SHIB token. Its listing on the big exchange platform certainly helped with all these adoptions, but the point is, SHIB is more than just something that exists online. It has a lot of uses in the real world, and this is something that we need to bear in mind when we think about SHIB's market cap. Another reason that this drop in market cap is not as bad as some of us think is because SHIB burns. In the past couple of days, the Shiba Inu community has been putting in all the effort to ensure that the amount of SHIB tokens in circulation is significantly reduced. The burn portal has been of immense help, but there also have been a variety of platforms via which SHIB burns have been happening. Even brands like Now Payments have lent a hand to this burn project. And just so you can really appreciate how much burns have been done, on the 2nd of June, burn efforts spiked by an impressive 190%. All that is good, but you're probably wondering what it has to do with the decline in Sheep's market cap. Well, here's something that you today wrote. Market capitalization, to put it simply, is a product of the number of coins circulating and the price of each of them. With a certain precise number of coins, one would expect the capitalization and price of a coin to move the same way. However, Shiba Inu is not such a simple project as the number of Sheep coins according to the consensus established by the community and project developers is constantly being burned. What does all of this mean? Well, of course, a decrease in market cap is not something that we all want, but it's not all bad in this case. This is because the decrease in market cap looks to be a result of a combination of the reduction of the number of Sheep tokens in circulation and the somewhat poor state of the crypto market. If this is the case, once the crypto market starts to recover, we can expect the market cap to rise and probably even surpass its former position. This same sentiment is echoed by you today, which is expressed as, It can be assumed that when bullish sentiment prevails on the market again, and if, of course, the project survives the possible crypto winter, SHIB will be able to show market outperforming growth, while the Diamond Hands fans will generously be rewarded for their loyalty. So yeah, we would rather not have Sheeb's market cap drop at all, but with all the burns that have been happening in recent times and those we can expect to see in the coming days, weeks, and even months, a market cap recovery might not be too far-fetched. In fact, this drop in market cap could even be seen as a signal that, indeed, the number of Sheeb tokens in circulation is on the decline. Now on to the general crypto market. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 Sheeb. 
for a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck. A crypto analyst who apparently predicted the Bitcoin collapse of May 2021 is at it again. This time, he has predicted that the price of BTC is headed for a $24,000 bottom. The analyst, Dave the Wave, who is also a YouTuber, is famous for being pretty accurate with his predictions as he didn't only predict the BTC crash of May 2021, he also predicted the double top pattern at $69,000. So people are really taking him seriously. He mentioned that this is the spot that Bitcoin normally hits bottom, so a record-breaking bottom is very possible for BTC. He also mentioned that Bitcoin's logarithmic growth curve channel, moving average convergence divergence MACD, and relative strength index RSI are signaling that the bottom will hit in the next few months, according to FX Street. Apparently, those indicators help analysts to identify what could be considered strong trending signals and to identify overbought and oversold territory in any cryptocurrency. So, having considered all of that, Dave the Wave came to the conclusion that Bitcoin could hit bottom price this month. But he's not the only one that has come to that conclusion. Other analysts, like Benjamin Cowan, are also of the opinion that the bearishness, which has been around for months now, is nowhere near abating. Using macro trading, which considers factors like inflation, interest rate, and fiscal policy, Cowan came to the conclusion that Bitcoin is in for a long winter. That said, there are some analysts that actually believe that there might be some bullishness in Bitcoin's near future. Specifically, FX Street analysts have mentioned that the price of Bitcoin could rally to $35,000 over the weekend. Now, let's hear what you think in the comments section. Which one do you think is more likely for Bitcoin, a price pump or a price dump? While you're answering that, let's look at one last thing. The crash of Terra is leading a number of national governments to be more involved in the crypto market and employ more stringent regulations. For instance, it looks like the Japanese government is about to enforce new stablecoin laws. In fact, just this Friday, Japan's parliament passed a bill that bans non-banking institutions from issuing stablecoins. So, the issuance of stablecoins will be limited to licensed banks, registered money transfer agents, and trust companies. The bill also provided measures that prevent money laundering and punish it. It also introduces a regulation system for any financial institution that wants to issue stablecoins, so financial institutions don't just automatically qualify. According to Cointelegraph, the new legal framework will reportedly take effect in 2023, with Japan's Financial Services Agency planning to introduce regulations for stablecoin issuers in the coming months. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.